Hey, Tony here. For today's 31 Days of Horror video, I wanted to take time to show you my Universal Monsters collection. I've got a lot of different titles in the collection, still books, box sets, um, just regular releases. So first up, the first one that I ever purchased was this Universal Monsters Essentials Colle Essential Collection box set from the UK. Um, this right here has all eight films in it. This right here was the top of the line at the time. Um, as you can see, it does have all, the, have all the art cards in it and some disc art, which I liked this one compared to the U.S. release. Um, however, I was unable to get the U.S. release, so I, I did choose this one, definitely because of the disc art. Um, next up, I did get the... So there was a nice big box set that was released on Amazon that had all of these included, um, but I opted for the individual releases because I wanted the individual slip boxes for each. So I got the Wolfman Complete Legacy um, Complete Legacy Collection. Really do like the um, artwork on all of these that I'm fixing to show. We got the Mummy, the Invisible Man, Frankenstein, Dracula, and Creature from the Black Lagoon. So very nice to have all of those. Like I said, there was a big box set that included all of these titles in it. They all have tons of special features. Um, like with Frankenstein, you do get The Bride of Frankenstein. You get some other um, Frankenstein films. Um, Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein. Um, also for The Creature from the Black Lagoon, they did do a replacement disc program. There was something wrong with the original disc. So I did get my replacement disc for that. So for some still books, I got The Mummy with this um, slip box from the UK. This was unavailable here in the US, so I picked that one up. I also got Dracula with a slip box. And I also got Creature from the Black Lagoon, the 3D version, with this really nice looking artwork. So very happy to have these on still book from the UK. And then Best Buy did a really great release for these um, films with some um, limited edition still books with Alex Ross um, artwork. I got The Wolfman. And of course, I have kept these sealed. The Mummy. The Invisible Man. Frankenstein. Dracula. Creature from the Black Lagoon, and The Bride of Frankenstein. Really beautiful looking artwork. I mean, if you can just see that, it's amazing looking. And then um, recently I did pick up the 4K release um, of these some of these films. We have um, The Invisible Man, The Wolf Man, Frankenstein and Dracula. I did unwrappings of all of these if you want to check those out. And then I did get the 4K set with all four films. So very nice to have these on 4K. I do hope that they will go ahead and release all of the other ones the same way, which would be really nice if they would do that. And then I do have some slipcover editions. I got the Wolfman um, with the black and white with the red lettering. Phantom of the Opera, The Mummy, The Invisible Man, Frankenstein, Dracula, Creature from the Black Lagoon, and The Bride of Frankenstein. And then they also released these with some glow-in-the-dark slips. I got The Mummy. The Bride of Frankenstein, Creature from the Black Lagoon, Dracula, Frankenstein, The Invisible Man, Phantom of the Opera, and The Wolf Man. Now one thing that I have noticed recently is they quit 
um, releasing Phantom of the Opera for some reason. I'm not really sure what that is all about, um, but typically with all the Universal Monsters releases, we were getting a lot of all of these titles, but for whatever reason, the Phantom of the Opera is one of those titles that they no longer release. I want to say that even with this nice big collection here of all of these, Phantom of the Opera was not included in this Legacy Collection. Probably just because it only has the one film related to it, I guess. I'm, I'm not really sure. But anyway, that is my Universal Monsters Collection. I really do enjoy these films. As you can tell, a lot of these are still sealed up. But I have seen all of these films except for The Invisible Man. I don't think I've ever seen The Invisible Man. So I'm definitely looking forward to checking that one out. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know if you have any of these in your collection. Let me know what you think about this particular collection, as I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on TikTok. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.